when Bright Young Folk approached us, we wanted to sing something um, that we felt great singing. And as neither of us grew up in strong caroling, that's not quite true. Neither of us, are, let me put it this way, we, neither of us are churchgoers, but we've always been interested in good songs. And my parents and Nancy's parents sing carols all the time. And I think it's a misconception that people who don't go to church don't enjoy carols. And I, I love carols. And where we've just moved to Sheffield, the version we sang tonight is very popular in the, the traditional Sheffield caroling, which is a strong tradition I'm sure you've come across. Um, and um, that, that is, that's a very popular version of that song where you get that desk cant singing the chiming bells through the song. So that's why we chose it. We thought it would be a, a representation of where we've moved to in Sheffield. And also it's a, a very joyful song. So that's why we chose that one. As you say, you've just moved to Sheffield. Have you been to the carols in Sheffield and Derbyshire? In fact, one of the first dates that Nancy and I had 15 years ago was that we went together to Dunworth, to the Royal, to the carols. And that was in the winter of 1995, and it was about a week after we'd met. So here we are 15 years later, still singing together, and uh, Dunworth pretty much was one of the first places we went, so yes. <laughs> so do you have any early memories of singing while Shepherds Watch Their Blocks? That song? Um, I learnt the more tradition, the more, le that's not the right word, I, le I learnt the more well-known version of While Shepherds Watch Their Blocks by Night as a school kid. Um, it wasn't until I came to England and started singing with English folk singers that I heard that and that's the, the version that I associate more with traditional English singers. That's the version they seem to love because it's got that rousing chorus. It's basically a great chorus song. So I don't remember when I first heard it, but it was probably sometime, it was probably 15 years ago at the Royal in Dunwood, I would say. Um, you are from Australia. Yes. Um, some obvious differences between Australia and Christmas, and it's not quite so cold. Sure. Um, what do you feel is a traditional Australian Christmas? Uh, a traditional Australian Christmas is very, very similar, because obviously it's not that long ago that Christmas the concept of Christmas arrived on that island and so the tradition that we have is in entirely based on the European Christmas with the exception that it's often 40 degrees in the shade. So the way we tend to do it at home is that you're not going to have your roast dinner in the middle of the day because it's pretty hot. So what we tend to do at my house, I can't speak for all Aussies, but we t my mum tends to do, or dad or me or my sister, tends to cook the roast the night before and we tend to have a, a buffet lunch with seafood because that's what Australia does really well. So we, and a lot of Australians do that. We'll have a seafood lunch and then maybe a roast dinner in the afternoon. A lot of real sort of English purists will sit there and they'll sweat it out and they'll have the turkey despite the fact that it's 40 degrees. They'll even have Brussels sprouts and they'll go... And the third option, just not to bore you with it, is that they'll have their Christmas dinner in winter and do a winter Christmas as well just to get the, the wintry vibe. Do you now have specific Kerr Fagan traditions at Christmas? Uh, yeah, um, but they they haven't ever yet branched out of the traditions that our parents have introduced us. And for the first time this year, because we've just become parents, we're about to have our first family Christmas where it's, it's a family we've generated, if you know what I mean. So this is going to be an interesting one, and one we're really looking forward to, because it's going to be Hamish's first Christmas. And that means a lot to me. Uh, so there'll be traditions aplenty starting this December, I think. You mentioned that both you and Nancy are from musical families. Yeah. So have you always had musical Christmases? Very much so. And carol singing, as I said, was not unfamiliar to me, even though I wasn't a church car, because my mum every year at Christmas time gets the uh, book of carols out. We sit around the piano and we sing carols. And same in Nancy's house, and I think same in any singing house, that Christmas is a great chance to get out there and sing. And uh, that's what I look forward to as much as anything. So it was always in our family, and uh, we still do it. And Hamish, I'm sure, will do it too. What do you want Santa to bring you this year? A first-class return air ticket flying Emirates to Sydney would be superb. Actually, two. Two return to its first class. <laughs> Do you have a, a favourite Christmas present that you received as a child? 
Yes, my Etch-a-Sketch, my first Etch-a-Sketch for my fifth birthday. I still have it. Although it does look toxic. It's leaking kind of this silver mercury powder, and I'm sure it's toxic, but I love it.